how to play the game. This controller's a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, cocks, ass, balls. Fuck cocks, dicks, ass. Kojima's a fucking cocksucker. Bullshit! Oh my god. What? I never failed the mission. Wow, this is a great game. We have technology! Oh. Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! What the, the fuck are you doing?! You know, keep in mind the fact that I've said numerous times that in the early 2000s to mid-2000s, I built gaming PCs for a hobby. I once had a LAN set up in my parents' house for games such as Unreal Tournament and Quake, and I loved doing it. So I know all about it, and I know how it works, right? I used to be in that group of people who I wanted to play everything on PC. Like, I, I used to be one of you. So this is my new PC. This was built by Chris and Teo, who are the original creators of my website, thekingofhate.com. My desktop PC right now is crashing when I try to do video editing of any significant type. Um, and it's doing it a lot, which is pissing me off. What? Um, so what I need to do, I needed to get another PC regardless for video editing, but, you know, from time to time there's a, a PC release that I might like to play. Like last year I played StarCraft 2, and uh, they offered to build me a computer, so I sent them some money. Uh, and then we talked a little bit about it, and we decided I wanted to soup it up a little bit more. So I sent them more money. <laughs> and uh, what we have here is the end, the end product. He says... Hey Phil, Chris here just writing you a note. If you decide to do an unboxing video for this new PC, it looks like I will be a part of it. Well, I'm reading your note, so yeah, obviously you are. The PC we, uh, oh, whoops. Let me tell you what is in this beast of a computer so your fans know what we put inside this computer. Okay. Intel i7-950 processor running at 3.07 GHz. An Asus Sabertooth X58 Motherboard updated to the latest BIOS, 16 gigabytes of Kingston Extreme RAM running at 1333 megahertz. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460, very good quality card, will run every game on maximum settings. I also included Sony Vegas Pro 10, good, because I need that for video editing, I need to learn how to use it. As well as Adobe CS5 Master Collection, you can thank my school for that, because they supplied you with those. I also installed Crisis 1, just to test out this PC on maximum settings. I've also installed a couple other games to test out this PC. Uh, you can choose to remove them or keep them for future walkthroughs. I've also also installed you AVG 2011. Courtesy of Tiger Direct, so you can enjoy that as well. I'm not sure what that is. I guess I'll find out. What? And the big announcement. Oh, God. <laughs> we got you Amnesia the Dark Descent. I know you're busy with other walkthroughs, especially this week being L.A. Noir and probably The Witcher, but a lot of your fans have asked for that game, so I decided to purchase it for you and install it on your computer. <laughs> In Sony Vegas 10, I installed a preset render that I use to render my videos, which will render them in about five, 50 to 100 megabytes for a 10-minute video with high quality, just like my videos. <clears throat> the pre-render is called Phil's Settings. Um, I'll have to see what, if, that, if that works out or not. And he says, I also included your copy of the receipts, which is good because I need that. Uh, because this is my ink source of income, I'm going to claim this is a write-off on my taxes next year, so I need all the receipts for that. Amnesia the Dark Descent. Fucking... <laughs> I have no desire to play that game, but everyone keeps fucking asking for it. It's ridiculous. You know what? You probably want to see it, so let me get the lamp. Sorry. What? You know, I have the window open. I have natural lighting, but it's not exactly the best for filming. That's the new desktop. Ooh, don't fall. The new desktop. And, uh... So it looks like on the front, it's got four USBs, but two of them are blue. And I don't understand what the difference is with those and this one. I don't know what the difference is between those two. Oh, good. It's cracked. It got damaged in shipping. Yep, there's a crack on the side. Well, I kind of, honestly, I kind of expected this thing was going to get damaged. I did. I expected fully that it was going to get damaged in shipping. And there it is. A crack right on the front door, so I knew something was gonna happen. We've got two gigantic fucking fans. There's one giant one here and one giant one here, and it actually has a water cooler on it. 
Um, I decided to get the water cooler because I was afraid that if I'm doing video editing or whatever, it might, uh, you know, it might push the system to the limit. Uh, here's my RAM. Now, I'm not really, I don't really understand how the RAM works these days. To be, it used to be you could only do dual channel RAM. Now apparently it's tri channel RAM. I don't know if this is set up properly. I have no freaking clue. The next day. What is going on everyone? DSP here and uh, I am farting around with my new PC. So what I'd like to do is do a, uh, uh, I'd like to belch directly in your face right now. Now, what I want to do is I want to walk you through a couple things. First of all, uh, yes I do have Steam and uh, I always have had Steam. And uh, my name is Darkside Phil on there, duh. But I know nothing about adding friends, I know nothing about that shit, so don't send me friend requests. Just like on Xbox and everything else, don't go nuts sending me friend requests, okay? That being said, this computer right off the bat has a couple issues. The first thing I noticed when I turned it on is that the computer's only recognizing 8 out of the 16 gigs of RAM. And I know the motherboard can support up to 16 gigs. It can actually support, I believe, 24 or more gigs. This is Windows Home Premium, which I know can support up to 16 gigs of RAM. So as of right now, I have no idea whatsoever why only 8 gigs are being recognized. So far, I've checked the BIOS. I've checked, uh, I've ran program benchmarking programs. I've checked in Windows itself. It only recognizes 8 gigs of the 16 gigs of RAM. I don't know what's going on right now. But hopefully I'll figure it out. If not, people were complaining that there was too much RAM in it anyway. So what? Fuck off. There's only 8 gigs. <laughs> I think a lot of people were were very negative and skeptical when they heard about some of the configurations that uh, Chris and Teo chose when they built this computer, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, sure, I'll send you twenty four dollars, you idiots. Don't don't make your software shareware if you don't uh, want people to get it for free. So anyway, <laughs> the first game that I want to demo is Team Fortress Two, and uh, what we'll do is we'll boot the sucker up. Okay, and once this guy boots up, and by the way, I apologize for the glare. I have my window open, so yeah, you're going to see glare a little bit here. Ah, oh, that's excellent. Now, I, by the way, I did test this game. I tested it before I started recording here, and it worked fine. So I have no idea why it just crashed, but unfortunately, that's the, the inevitability of PCs, is you're going to get a lot of crashes, and I'm used to it, and that's why I'm not complaining. I mean, I've had PCs, like I said, I used to build gaming rigs and I know that these kind of things happen. Um, advanced settings, now there's a 7,000 different settings for PC games obviously. I don't know what? what to click here, what not to click here. I know I don't want motion blur, okay. I'm not sure about anti-aliasing. Now I know that this, this computer, this graphics card can do it, but I don't know what I should enable. I'm not, for now, here's what we're going to, we're going to leave anti-aliasing off. But everything else we're going to put up as high. As you can see, everything's set to high, high, high. It's like the, the ideal settings. The only thing I did do, I turned, set on multi-core rendering. I don't know if that does anything, but being that I have four fucking cores, I said, gee, maybe I should try it. So I turned that on. So what we're going to do, we're going to demo this first. Okay, we'll hit okay, okay. Start playing. I want to do an offline match, but I can't remember how to do it. Fuck. What? So it's refreshing the servers. Maybe I will just join the game quickly. Let's see if I can join this game. Don't show me this bullshit again. Server not responding. Sweet. Server not responding. <laughs> All right. Uh, obviously, I haven't played this game in a hundred years. You know. Um, quick refresh. Why does this server not fucking responding? This is stupid. What? Yes. No servers respond. I love this bullshit. This is what you have to put up with PC gaming, and this is kind of why it is kind of frustrating. Here, let's try a server that has like. So, yeah, no, look, now no servers respond. Look. Uh. <laughs> I love PC games because they don't work. And you have to have lots of patience. You really do. You have to have lots of patience to play PC games. 
How do you do an offline match? Of course it's not self-explanatory. It's a PC game. <laughs> I just want to fucking play a game, man. And I can't figure out how to do it. It's just not working. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Why is the server list not refreshing? Give me a fucking break. What? And how do you play an offline match? I don't know. Doesn't tell you. Of course it doesn't tell you. It's a PC game. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get 7,000 flaming messages on this video. Oh, you're so stupid. You just do it this way. Uh, okay. It should tell you, and it doesn't. I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck to do an offline match. Because I know you could do it. I know you could play a game with bots. I'm not stupid, you know. I know it's possible. I just can't, don't know how to do what? it. What? Well, I'm sure I'll get 7,000 messages about how stupid I am, even though it's the game, it's not me. Wow, advanced options. How about I just want to fucking play a game? <laughs> That's an advanced option, right? Uh, look, it's still not done. You know, like like a, a human is going to fucking sit here for a half hour waiting for the fucking server list to populate. Stupid. Okay, so Witcher 2, and what we're going to do, we'll go right into graphics. Alright. And for some reason it doesn't even let me do the resolution. That's fucking stupid. Fucking dumb game. So I guess we're going to have to do a new game. We're going to have to get into the gameplay. And once we get into the gameplay, then we'll be able to set the resolution. The game doesn't let us do it ahead of time. Want to know why? Because it's stupid. That's why. So we'll skip the cutscenes and shit. Get. There's a bunch of cutscenes. I'm really not interested in these cutscenes. I just want to get the gameplay. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what? I'm naked. Sex and titties. Sex and titties. We're now in the actual game, okay? And I have no idea what the settings are set to right now, but it's it's at 48 frames per second, okay? So let's take a look. What the fuck? How do I get to the FPS? Or the, uh, the resolution? How much do you want to bet you can't do it in-game? How much do you want to bet? What? I guarantee you you can't do it in-game. Watch. You probably got to do it from this fucking menu. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> so anyway... Cinematic depth of field disabled. I don't know what that means. Depth of field cutscenes enabled. Dangling objects limit disabled. Uber sampling disabled. Vertical sync enabled. Decals high spec. So whatever that means. What? Great. Um, so we're running it at 720p with these settings. I have no clue what they mean. Okay, but at least now we see what we're working with here. So let's launch the game again. <laughs> now that we know what we're working with. And yes, PC games take 700 years to boot, as you can see. It takes forever. <laughs> what? One thing you'll notice is, you know how it's, it kind of looks juddery? But I'm wondering if that's because the frames per second is so high. The king will decide your... I'm wondering, it does look jittery, doesn't it? It looks very jittery. If anyone knows how to fix that jitteriness, I'm sure it's a fucking setting, you know? There's so many settings for PC games. If anyone knows how to fix that, please comment on the video and let me know how to fix the jitteriness. Look, during cutscenes, there's no jitteriness. <laughs> oh my god, there's a dragon? All right, so yep, it's just under 30 frames per second in 1080p. This looks this looks like a console game to me. Oh my god, I got burned to death instantly. <laughs> my new PC has arrived. It is very beastly. I call it the beast mode PC because it has some of the most impressive configurations that I could but purchase from, as you can see, cyberpowerpc.com.
This is going to be interesting because I've never ordered from these guys before. If you remember the, the PC that I ordered three years ago, the one that I've used for three years, unfortunately I had some amateurs assemble it for me as a favor to them, basically, to help them out with their summer internship. And that one always had problems because uh, it was done incorrectly. This time I went to professionals. So if anything goes wrong with this PC, I can basically go to them and say, no, you guys have to fix it because it's under warranty, okay? This is how you do ship a PC. <laughs> this is how you avoid a giant crack on the front of their PC that you just built. <laughs> All right. God damn, look at this thing. How the fuck does this come out? This is insane. What? Wow. Holy crap, dude. That was freaking wild. So damn, let's take a look. By the way, the top is fucking loose. I don't know why this is loose. That's not right, look. Why is the top loose? This is how you do ship a PC. Uh, That's not right. It's not supposed to be fucking loose. Look. I don't know why it does that. It is loose and it lifts, look. Almost like there's supposed to be a fastener here that they didn't put on or something. I don't know. Huh. All right, everyone, we are testing Rage on max settings. I know it's an old game, but it's really the only game that I could e easily and quickly install to test on my new setup. This is 1080p, 60 frames per second, capture and streaming. Cryogenic preparation commencing. People are saying the screen is not aligned. Set it to full screen. Windowed mode screwed it up. Well, I can't now because I'm going to fucking cut scene. Oh, it's chopping up. The game is chopping up. Data oh, there we go. Oh, I can't. Huh? The game is choppy. Dude, the game is choppy. Oh, uh, the game looks choppy. It's the actual game. This is not my capture of streaming. The game is choppy. What the hell? The game's choppy as fuck on my new PC. Great. Look at the pop-in. Did you see the pop-in? Look at the pop-in. What the fuck? What? Uh... People are saying turn off V-Sync. Unknown. It's still choppy. Look, it's still Remote choppy. Look. Offline. It's still fucking choppy. Tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. It's terrible. Safe Look, it's terrible. Confirmed. <laughs> disengaged. Absolutely horrible. It's ch ch choppy as fuck. Look, it's garbage. Pre-recorded media playback. One load you will find when you oh, it's awful. It looks god awful. You, the contents of these arcs, will form the final barrier to the. What? All right, now people are saying completely turn off the anti-aliasing. About what is this? I don't know what this shit is. GPU transcode and anti sophic filter, whatever the fuck. It's still terrible. Still terrible, look. Still choppy as fuck. And playback. Terrible. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the game. And the game is shit. It looks like shit. It's choppy as hell. I want to see if the CPU usage spikes while I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing it. What? Ah, oh, fooey, you can't see the screen capture while I go to the game, huh? Well, that sucks. I thought you could, but you can't. It's freaking delayed. That sucks. Alright, that sucks. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do... I'm gonna have to do task manager on the other screen. Hold on. Alright, hold on. Oh, there you go. Look. It freaking maxed it out. It went to 100%. So I cannot play a PC game 
on 1080p 60 frames per second and capture and stream at the same time. It doesn't work. There I am walking around in the game with my CPU usage 100%, ladies and gentlemen. 100%. What? Mm -mm. 100% you, so I cannot play PC games. I still cannot play PC games. <laughs> wow. Seriously. This is why people don't do stuff on PC. Look at this, $3,000 computer. Maxes out the CPU. $3,000. Three thousand dollars. <laughs> Unfucking believable. I still can't do it. Can you believe it? Three thousand dollars, and I still can't freaking record and stream in 1080p and uh, and 60 frames per second. Can you believe it? Uh. Well, the good news is we'll be able to do console stuff at really, really high quality. The bad news is PC, I still can't play. <laughs> Unreal. Well, I guess that's it for our test. There's your results. There are your results. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're coming back for the ass here. Hold on. Here, have some of this. I'm sexy and I know it. Dark side Phil. What? The worthless humans. Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Forever. No. And ever. Oh my god. <laughs>